Hi, I'm Mark Poole. Wanted to address the question, is atrial fibrillation dangerous? The answer is yes and no. It's not dangerous in the sense that it usually causes a patient to die outright. It's not a rhythm that degenerates into something else that will typically cause a patient to die in, a, in just one moment, but it is almost a sign of difficulty of the heart. It may be a sign of some other problem in the heart that's going on. And in general, the main danger with atrial fibrillation is the danger of a stroke. Because the flow through the heart is not nice and regular, it's more haphazard, it uh, involves starting, stopping, this kind of thing, and the flow is not as laminar, the blood can clot within the heart more easily. And if a blood clot forms in your heart, it could get out, go to your brain and cause a stroke, or it could actually even go to a different body part and cause difficulty like the bowel or the kidney or something like that. D typically, a stroke is the most feared complication of AFib, however. So, a stroke could, in theory, uh, take a person's life. It is one of the leading causes of death in the United States. So, this is very serious stuff. The main danger of AFib is wrapped up in stroke. A lot of patients, if they have ongoing AFib, can't make it go away with medications or otherwise, if the risk of stroke is high based on certain calculations, then uh, the patient is started on a blood thinner to help a blood clot never form at all in the heart. Of course, there is a risk of bleeding if you're on a blood thinner, generally speaking. And that's something for your doctor to determine if the benefit is greater than the risk. The other thing about AFib I find intriguing is if you look at the mortality rate of AFib or the expected survival of patients with AFib, it's actually alarmingly... Uh, low, the survival rate. So uh, some studies have shown that for patients over 65, if you look at the five-year survival rate, it's only about 50%. And this is greatly reduced compared to the general population or those who don't have AFib. In fact, some cancers have a greater survival rate than AFib, which is scary. So if you've been recently diagnosed with AFib, don't let the alarm bells go off. It's not that you are destined to die in the next year or two. It's not exactly like that, but do seek medical attention on going with your doctor, your cardiologist. It is good to try to make the AFib go away, mostly to reduce the risk of stroke, and yet there is this some underlying aspect of AFib that can reduce lifespan. AFib is certainly a big medical problem in the United States and around the world. It's still somewhat poorly understood if you ask me in terms of why would the lifespan be reduced or something like that or any other problem like that. It may be wrapped up in AFib as a sign of other problems with the heart. Certainly seek the attention of your doctor, your cardiologist, or another specialist in order to help you manage AFib and maximize your quality of life and improve life if, if that is a diagnosis.